Welcome to the Nightly Rant with your hosts, Mike and Toria. This is the show where we examine society from a sarcastic point of view. If you like insane conversations, this is definitely the show for you. Let's get into today's topic. YPN people, I don't know about you, but I love helping out a friend. That's why I want to shout out my friend Brian Little and his podcast, Your Favorite Blockhead. This is the only show that manages to weave together peanuts and MMA into one heck of an amazing podcast. You can find your favorite blockhead wherever your favorite podcasts reside and at yourfavoriteblockhead.com. Do me a huge favor and listen to Brian's show. You'll be entertained and you'll help out a friend. Now, as I said, let's get into today's topic. Not too much longer, and we will be down take under. Off. That's right. Going to the land down under. I know, you know there's a song that has that line in it. Yep. And I can like hear it playing in my head, but I don't know the next line. <laughs> <laughs> I th- I don't remember either the line. Something it, it ends with something with the word plunder. I think so too. Because it rhymes with down under. I come yeah. from the land down under. Where something, something, and something plunder. <laughs> if you know the answer, info at yogispodcastnetwork.com. <laughs> Send it over. We'll give you a prize. Or even just the name of the song. I'm good with that, too. We'll give you a prize. We'll give you a prize from Thought Merch, the sassiest, most irreverent merchandise on the internet. It's sassier than me. It's sassier than her. It's sassier than both of us put together. Thoughtmerch.com. Go over there. You'll get a nice uh, discount if you give us your email address. Thoughtmerch.com. Well then, now that we've talked about a song, we are going down under. I am going to see a koala bear. This is not going to be as abysmal as our trip to Arizona where I did not get to see an arm cactus. Well... Koala. You're going to see koala bear, bear if you get off your booty and actually um, make the reservation. Koala bear. As long as you get off your booty and I make know, the reservation. I know. I heard you the first time. Koala we'll bear hater. you actually do it. I, I don't hate koala bear. It doesn't scare me. He'll hiss at me. He'll try to bite me. It's no different than I Brie. I want him to sit on my head. It's no different than Brie. That would be cute. I'd I'm love to so get video excited. of that. I feel... I feel like the most touristy tourist ever right now about these koala bears because I feel like Australian people are like, okay, it's another koala bear. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, (laughs) yeah. It does kind of feel that way. It's like entering America and seeing a bald eagle, you know? Yeah, but I think less rare. I think koalas are more prevalent than the bald eagle. I think. I could be... Entirely, completely wrong what I think there. But okay, maybe it's like driving through Canada and not seeing a dead deer on the side of the road. But it'll be interesting <laughs> to see. You know, it'll be interesting to see, you know, because there's Ash over there, you know, and she's getting hitched. Doing Ash things. So we're going to go there to attend that and I'm going to give her away, her, her hand in marriage and now hitchedness. He's her problem. And hitchedness, and then he'll become... He, he'll, she'll be his problem and not my problem. <laughs> Precisely. I love her to death, though. It would be nice to see her, too. I haven't seen her in such a long time. It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Well, yeah. and then, like, two weeks later, they'll be here. But, like, we've been working weird hours and whatnot, and so, you know, we've ordered food a couple of times and probably shouldn't, but maybe tonight was a sign of that. And <laughs> so... We didn't eat lunch today because she was working, and um, or something I don't know. But she wasn't she wasn't downstairs with me, and I wasn't going upstairs to check up on her because I thought she was working and I didn't want to put pressure on her. So I just let her be. And even if and I also thought even if she wasn't working, she was just laying in bed like reading. She didn't want to come downstairs. Leave her alone. Just let her be. So that's what I was doing. Well. <laughs> Now that I can't remember what the hell I was saying. Oh, no. We decided yeah. to so, get Buffalo Wild Wings. So we decided, we decided to have a late lunch that would take the place of dinner and lunch. 
And yeah. then we do this sometimes, and then we'll have like a medium sized snack. At like night. tonight, and I she got ordered, chips and dip. She ordered some chips and dip with our dinner, which was, uh, as I said that, it dawned on me why you did that. See, that's pretty smart. That was good, babe. That was really good. And so that's what we did. We we got Buffalo Wild Wings, and we had it ordered, and we always do the contactless delivery. Because I really hate people. And, yeah, and it's not because she's afraid of COVID or anything I like that. I just really like that I don't have to see people. But <laughs> the guy... The guy, you know, he, you know, we get the whole message that they accepted the order. The order's being cooked. Guy's there to pick up the order. Guy picked up the order. Guy on the way here. Guy approaching. Guy in building. Phone rings. Her phone. And I hear her saying to him, no, you have to, that's good, but you have to bring it up to the apartment. And I hear him say something again about being at the leasing office and her saying, Okay, well, that's that's good, but I appreciate you telling me that, but he's supposed to bring it up to the apartment like the instructions say. We won't, It's always left at our door. We don't come out and get it. You bring it to us. And he he, I took the phone from her, and I said, Hey, man, the instructions are clear. You're supposed to drop it at the door. Everybody else dropped it at the door, so don't be lazy. Drop it at the door. He hung up on me. Yeah, that was pretty fantastic. So I went down there. Now I'm pissed. Get down there and I asked him, so, are you just lazy? You, know, you can't walk to the apartment? He's, there's all these apartments here. Yeah, dude, there's a map right there that tells you where the apartment is. So shut up. DoorDashers very and, rarely have a problem. And so I walk up to get the food and he tries to like, you know, like throw it towards me. And I reached out like, like in the Karate Kid movies. I reached out and just grabbed his hand as he came at me. And then, then slid my hand down, put it into the handle of the bag, and pulled the bag away, and was like, "I'm out of here." And then he, you know, he's proceeding to yell and scream at me, and calling me loser and all this stuff. And I'm like, "Dude, if you're gonna yell at the guy who's like four times your size, and you want to look like you have balls when you're doing it, then don't run into your car, lock the door, crack the window, and <laughs> yell it out the cracked window." You know, you want to have balls, stand up and have balls. I mean, I'm not going to necessarily kick your butt. I might. But probably not over some Buffalo Wild Wings, man. Exactly. It wouldn't be worth it. It would never be worth it. At all. Just not worth it. Because who who deserves to go to jail over some stupid, you know, wings that were coming? But at the same time, we don't deserve to be treated that way either. You, you know what? I got a 12-pack of soda thrown at my head. You got an order of wings thrown at you. I mean... We're well, just, yeah, it's like, what the hell's happening we're with... We're having bad luck. What the hell's happening with people in, you know, in our world today? Is this my karma for watching all those videos about door dashers on TikTok and laughing? Like the crazy lady who got an $8 tip to go a mile... And then got so mad that the tip was only $8 that she proceeded to leave with the food and go back to the restaurant. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny, though. You talk about an $8 tip. Uh, that that joke that I saw on social media about, you know, when I was getting gas, I saw that the last person in front of me spent $10. Where And I was at pump um, four, three. Where the heck were they headed to? Pump four? <laughs> and it's not wrong. Nope. Not wrong. My dad was saying that gas is two nineteen a liter in the Crosnes Pass. So even more than it is in Calgary. Wow, that's that's almost that's almost nine dollars a gallon. In the place that has like the most oil in North America. You know, that's the whole problem with what's going on right now, is like what was the first thing that Joe Biden did when he took office? Raised gas. He he, he killed the <laughs> Keystone Pipeline project. Yes, because he because wanted to America destroy needs an entire to be, continent's economy. Right, America needs to be um, less energy, um, you know, dependent, and um, he makes us more energy dependent by taking away a big source of energy for us, and is afraid now to stop paying Russia for oil. We're 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 essentially at war with Russia. 
this is how you know all this stuff is just posturing. We're at war with Russia, but yet we're still paying the millions of dollars for oil. Isn't that stupid? While at war with them. But we're not technically at, at the war. very least. At the very least, we're at an economic war with them because we're we pass sanctions against them. I mean, we're open yeah. about that, so that's an economic war. So why the hell are we giving them? Their biggest economic resource being paid for by us. Why? Yeah. Why are we doing that? It just doesn't make any sense. It sure doesn't. So, anyway, I think that just goes to show you that you can't count on anyone to do anything. Especially trust, count on, sorry, the DoorDash person to not swear at you? Well, yeah, and, like, like that's the funny thing about it. Like, dude was, like, this tiny little guy, just a little tiny guy. And I wasn't trying to be imposing or anything, but just walking. When you walk up to him, I'm sorry, people, but when you're a little larger person, and I'm not, like, bodybuilder man, but I'm also not 100 pounds, okay? Like... I'm a solid 200, solid. Yeah. He, he, I walk up there and you just can tell, you feel so like massive compared to the little twig that's in front of you. And for him to be like quaking in his boots while I was standing right there, but then once he jumped in his car and literally rolled the window three quarters of the way up and then started yelling obscenities at me. <laughs> yeah. And of course, I'm terrible because I should have gone, just walked away. But I go back and I yell back at him. And then he says <laughs> something else. And then I give him something better than that. And then he says something else. And he gives him something better than that. And he just gets frustrated and he shuts up and he leaves. And then I left. Yeah. I'm just tired of hearing him. But what you yell back is always funny, so it's okay. Well, but it was just, I could have just let it go. And I should have just let it go. And I next time would probably just let it go. But <sighs> here's the thing about this to me. The conclusion. All right, I'm going to wrap it all up with a little bow for us and ready for a nice little pretty dinner. And we can talk about the Saurus. Anyway, continue. Um, little bow, wrap it up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> gosh dang it, you threw me right off of a loop. You just pow, and off I went to the left or something. I don't know. <laughs> what was the last thing that I said before that? We're finishing talking about DoorDash, and you said you were going to tie it up into a nice little bow for everyone. Oh, right. Thank you. And so no matter who you are and how you act, if there's a service professional providing a service to you, how that service professional should handle an, an irate. Let's say you were super rude and irate. We right. weren't. But let's say we were. He needs to be nice. He needs to do the things that he's supposed to do. Like, in other words, stick to their end of the bargain. I mean, dude, I got a message when the order was complete that the Dasher delivered the order to your doorstep as per your instructions. That's because they have an option to have contactless delivery for a reason. But these drivers are now getting lazy because, see... Now that COVID restrictions are loosened up, now the drivers are going to go back to being lazy and not wanting to come to the house. They want you to come out. Sorry, bro. As long as the option's there, I get to Brown choose it. This level of service. Well, and as long as the option's there, I get to choose it. And the service isn't going to cost any less. It's pretty crazy when you think about it. And, and that's really the bottom line is you, it doesn't matter how irate you were. His job was to handle the situation calm and cool. And then if he needed to, he could report you to the company. Look, I don't think we should be doing business with this customer. Right. And block your account if they want to. They have every right to do that. Right. And if he felt the need to do that and they investigated and they felt the need to do that, well, then we would have deserved it. Because then obviously, even though we didn't think so, they think we did something wrong. You know, that would be, that would be justice. To which point we'd be like, hello, Grubhub. Well, exactly. I mean, we, we, we have other options, but the point is you don't want to, you don't want to go there. Right. But if they think that you did, well, I mean, what can you do? There's nothing you can really do about it. They think you went there. Done. Done deal. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I just think it's really interesting that in the entirety of the pandemic, we've ordered a lot of deliveries. 
you know, between food and groceries yeah. and whatever. And we've had two really awful experiences, and they've both been almost the exact same situation and both been in, like, the last month and a half. Since things relaxed more. Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It's like they're getting lazy now because, see, before they would have never gotten away with it, even for an inch, because, sorry, it's COVID. You have to drop it off over there. There are guidelines. You must do this. Mm -hmm. Now they can be like, I didn't want to. Right. Sorry, I didn't have to. The rules usually say you come out here and pick it up, not the other way around. And like I'm saying, as long as that option exists when I'm ordering, I'm picking that option and you're complying with it. Right. That That's how it has to work. You can't sell me on a service. I mean, you're charging me a delivery fee. In our case, we pay the... Dash pass. Dash pass crap. But it's still a delivery fee. Yes, and that's the point. It's yeah. It's a what do you call it? A discounted delivery fee because they're charging you one flat fee for the whole month because right. they can count on us having months where we don't use them at all and they make ten bucks off of us. You know, I mean right. that's and then there's months where we use them twice a week and they lose a ton of money off of us for delivery right. fees. But you know that is what it is. But the point is, we pay some kind of delivery fee. You have to honor your 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 deal with us as the customer. Right. And they just didn't do that. And that, like I'm saying, so so I'm taking out the argument of anybody saying, well, were you rude to him? It doesn't matter if we were rude or not. It's still incumbent upon the company providing the service to give customer service. And let me let me just say, this is not us begging on DoorDash. We called in and asked yes, to just have thanks the, for tip, reminding me. the tip reversed because I don't feel like somebody who was that kind of rude should get any kind of tip for his delivery. Anyway, and they refunded the tip immediately, and then she offered us an extra credit to make the situation right. That wasn't even expected. All, all I was expecting was to get the tip back. Just the tip. Well, and that's, and, and then she, right. Well, and she even said, let me see if I can get you more. Like, she offered it. Yeah. And I think she literally just took a percentage, like you said, and just applied it to the order. And it, came. it was like $16.37 or something like that. It was really weird. So she had to have taken a percentage. I don't know why they wouldn't just round it, like, you know, sixteen fifty or 16 I mean, right. whatever. Weird. Round it up, round it or down. Or make it 15 or 20 even. I mean, come on. Who cares? It's free yeah. money. It'll pay for a lunch. Yeah, pretty much. half of a lunch. Um. I don't know. I, I just think that's the, the drawback is that you're the service provider. And I mean, that's why when I worked for the place that I worked for, we would have not allowed this driver to drive for us ever again. Yeah. Because we err on the side of caution. Here's the thing. The customer is saying you were rude. So we went the other way. So I don't care whether they were rude or not. They're not, I'm, I don't control what they do. I don't control their behavior. They control their behavior. But they're but not you're, representing my but company. But you're my representative, and right. I control how you handle my customer, and you are not to be rude to my customer. You're not to be yelling cuss words at my customer. You're not to yell degrading things to my customer, you know. Right. Good luck with that, you know, and that's, I control that. As the business owner, I control that. And I and I totally can understand a business, you know, all right, you want to complain about that customer? So tell us your story. They're going to tell us their story. And then we'll make a decision what to do. And we could ban the customer too. But you, the driver, you're done. You had an, a guarantee you had a bad interaction with the customer. That means you're out of here. And that's what we would do. We would get rid of them. And it kept those kinds of big blow-ups to a minimum because it's generally a certain type of person who's usually like they think they're owed something by other people yeah. and like they're the type who would complain that if the order was like you know 45 minutes late and the tip would get removed mm -hmm. they would complain about it they should still get a tip well why it's your fault that it's late because you didn't manage the order I mean, you're supposed to manage the order. You're supposed to let the customer know that they might not have the item ready yet. They're out. And they had to go run out right. and get some. Do you want to get something else? Like, that's what you're supposed to do. Not just sit there and wait because, well, that's what they ordered. 
And I mean, we were really strict about that. <laughs> really, really strict about that. For those reasons, because it was always the same people that would escalate a situation. So why keep them around? Once they showed you that that's what they were like, see ya. Yeah, makes sense. Well, I said we have to end talking about the Saris. All right, let's talk about the Saris. And what I just wanted to tell everybody about the Saris is that she looks freaking adorable sleeping. And she just makes me want to go to bed. She is super cute. Um, Yogi, though, he's also super cute. He's laying yeah, he's on like, his side. Yeah. Passed out as well. The CEO he's, is the laziest podcast he's guest monitoring, in the world. He's monitoring the um, language on the show tonight. He, he's been counting how many times we say bleep and bleep. And bleepity bleep bleep bleep. Exactly. So, you know, he's kind of funny. She's kind of funny. And Sometimes now, Toria is funny. And now it's time for us to join them in the land of sleep. Good All night, everyone. Right. Uh, Stella, bye bye. Thank you for listening to the Nightly Rant. If you enjoyed the show, please give us a five star rating on Apple Podcasts or Google Play. If you didn't enjoy the show, please just ignore that previous request for a rating. This has been a Yogi's Podcast Network production. <laughs>